there you guys i'm teddy from bijutel beading and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful fine flowers earrings seed beads earrings they're really easy to make they could be considered even beginner's level and with my step-by-step -step instructions i'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself if you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button if you still haven't and in this way you will be notified when i release magic jewelry to the ones that i have already done like i will be making a bracelet and i'll show you how to assemble these elements in a bracelet in one of my next videos so it's a good idea to hit the bell and you could also help me by like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is and um, down there in description you will find a full list of materials uh, links to Amazon where you could buy supplies from, links to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Now, thank you so much for watching. I will start with the list of the materials. Okay, guys, so for this video, what I'm going to use are four colors of 11 on seed beads. Here I use ear wires. This is Nemo beading thread that is uh, two millimeters thick. This is size D. And here I use size 10 beading needle and scissors. Down there in description, you could find links to amazon where you could buy supplies from if you want to check them out okay and now i'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay and i have half an arm span of thread on my needle and now i'm going to take six yellow beads okay i have my six here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. Now I will stick my needle in my mat. And here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop. Going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And now I'm going to make one more knot. And this is what I have. Okay, and now I'm going through the following yellow bead. And here I want to take an orange. Go back through this yellow like this. Okay. Now I have this. Now I'm going through the following yellow and take one more orange, go back through the yellow and I have something like a loop here. Okay, and I'm going through the following. Take one orange and my advice is to go also through the following yellow. In this way you save time. Okay? Now repeat this three more times. Okay, and I flip my work like this. Then I will go through this orange bead here. And what I want to take are two red beads, go through the orange, two more red beads, go here, two reds, go here and I'm going to repeat this three more times okay 
Now I have these guys. And in this row, I'm going to take a red, a yellow, and a red. This is what I have. And I'm going back through these two red beads. Now I have this. I'm going in the following orange. Take one orange. Go back through it and through the next two red beads. And I have this. Now again a red, a yellow and a red. And after this an orange. Then again, a red, a yellow, and a red. And here, an orange. Okay guys, and now from here on, red, yellow, red, orange, red, yellow, red, orange. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm just adding my last orange bead from this row. And what I want to do is go through this orange and this red in this direction. And also off camera I cut my tail thread. It was on my way all the time. And now guys, as I'm exiting from this red one, I will flip my work this way. And I'm going to take three more red beads like this. Go through here and exit out of my next red bead. Okay, and I pull. Then I'm going to take three more red beads. Go here and my goal is to exit out of my next red one. Then again three more red beads. Skip the yellow and go through the next three beads like this and I'm going to continue this three more times and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to continue your work okay see you in a while okay guys and here I'm adding my last three beads from this row and what I want to do is go through these top three beads that are here and I will add three green beads and I'm going here through this one that's just under this one that's sticking out the most okay like this then I go through the one that's sticking out the most and through the following uh, in fact I'm going through these three top beads okay and I'm going to take three more green beads like that and go through the same place through the top three beads of my flower okay like that three again and I'll let you do this until the end of this row by yourself okay three beads Continue this three more times and meet me here. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Now this is what I have. And I want to exit out of my next green bead like that. And here guys, what I want to take are three greens again. 
I have my three greens. I'm skipping this middle green bead and going through the following green and also through the next red one that's on my way. Now I have this and my goal is to go through those three red beads and again take three like this skip the middle one and go through the following okay then exit out of the next green one three more okay skip this middle one go through the following okay and now i'm going to continue this three more times and i'll be back to tell you how to finish your earring okay guys and here i'm adding my last three beads from this row and don't hesitate to pause and rewind this video if you forgot some of the steps okay and now i will go here at this angle bead I will take this ear wire and I will take one red bead go here through my ear wire like this slide down and I will take one more red bead and I will go back here through this okay you see what I have red ear wire red and I go back in circle here and then I'm going through these seed beads because I want to reinforce my work and I will go here through some beads in this direction okay and now I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread and I'm making here a knot go once, go second time pull you could repeat this knot several more times and when you're ready with the last knot go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and remember never cut next to a knot always go through the following seed bead and then cut okay and now guys my earring is ready hey guys and now my fine flower seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for my new upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links to amazon where you could buy supplies from links to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me